Welcome back, Curious! As much as you are very aware, the presidential elections are just around the corner. And this, of course, means it's the time of the year where the candidates who one day wish to sit at the Oval Office of the White House have long begun digging up dirt on their opponents and airing out their dirty laundry. They say that in war and love, anything goes. And to that phrase, we should perhaps also add the presidential political campaigns. And yes, what would such a debate be without people bringing up the usual scandals that happened in the past, controversial statements, and even the most intimate and lurid family secrets. And speaking of the latter, the Trump family are no strangers to such accusations of things like manipulation, humiliation, psychological abuse, and even supreme speeches. But if I've piqued your curiosity, then make sure you stay with me to find out everything about the Trumps, their family relationship, and mysteries. But before I go on, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. President Donald Trump's family is quite large, curious, so I won't go too much into each and every single aunt, uncle, and cousin thrice removed. So for this video, we'll talk about the closest members of the controversial leader's family and the relationship he has with each of them. And who is closer to him than his own kids? Or well, at least that's what one would think, right? Let me start off with the youngest of the ladies, Tiffany, who recently turned 27. She's the only daughter from the president's second marriage. And for some that might not know, yes, he's been married three times. The young woman was raised practically alone by her mother, Marla Maples. Although not much is known about her relationship with her father, one thing is clear, he is very proud of his child. When she graduated from the University of Pennsylvania, where Donald himself studied, he sent her a message of congratulations. After that, she graduated with a law degree, this time from Georgetown University. There have been many speculations as to whether the fact that she is not the daughter from the first marriage has relegated her to secondary treatment, considering that she's not as involved in politics as her half-siblings, about whom I will talk about in a moment. However, she's quite active on her Instagram account, where she has just over 1.2 million followers. Oh, and right, since 2018, she's been in a relationship with Michael Bullis, an American business executive who studied finance at the City University of London. But don't go yet, Curious, we're saving the best for last. Let's leave the Trump ladies for a moment and talk about the older sibling, Donald Jr., who on the very last day of this catastrophic 2020 will turn 43. Unlike his half-sister Tiffany, Donald Jr. is the personification of the saying, like father like son, since he is very much into politics. And not only that, but he's also his father's political lawyer. I can already hear Trump Sr. say, that's my son, but that's not all. Jr. is also the executive vice president of the Trump Organization which he heads with his younger brother Eric, who we'll get into in a moment. Since we are talking about the relationship between Senior and Junior, it seems that it was not as good as we all thought. You probably heard that the president, one of the biggest critics of wearing masks as a preventative measure against COVID-19, got infected not long ago. Remember? I mean, come on, it was hard not to. So it turns out that in the midst of all the chaos that arose after the news was released, a rumor also began to circulate that Donald Jr. himself had said that his father was acting like, and here I quote, a real nut job, and that he should stop doing it now. According to this version, not only was the president's firstborn worried about his father's behavior, but also his daughter Ivanka, since Donald has been posting dozens of meaningless tweets, a fact that, according to the closest to him, could cast a doubt on his abilities to govern the country. And as we said, curious, in the middle of a campaign for re-election, that would not help him or his entire cabinet with the election. And since we're talking about his close team, that leads us to about the next member of the family, his favorite, Ivanka Trump. She is about to turn 39 at the end of the month. The apple of her father's eye is the daughter from his first marriage to Ivana Trump, and yes, just like her brothers, she too grew up in affluence. However, a fun little detail is that although Daddy's girl could have devoted herself literally to whatever she wanted, she chose to become a supermodel. Yes, Curious, I know what you may be thinking, but in her case, nature was rather benevolent and gave her a slender and well-toned figure. For that reason, Ivanka was able to dedicate herself entirely to the world of fashion and has even appeared on the cover of several prestigious magazines on the planet. 
So far, I have told you at least a couple of times that Ivanka is Daddy Donald's favorite. Well, so much so that you all probably remember that, um, compliment from her father. Yes, in a 2006 interview for The View, he said, and I quote, I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Despite the fact that at the time the presenting ladies laughed at the joke, the press did not find it funny at all. In fact, they called it in rather bad taste, a truly unfortunate comment that, according to many, hinted at a very strange father-daughter relationship. And the height of Daddy Trump's pampering of little Ivanka was the position he pulled out of his sleeve to keep her close even with all the assignments and responsibilities of being the President of the United States. And as it turns out, both she and her husband were appointed as senior advisors to the President. Do you remember the name of the person who held that position before? Nope, neither do we. And not because we have a really bad memory or because we did no research before making this video, but simply because it's a position that Donald himself invented to give his daughter a chance to get into the highest political spheres and work with the most powerful leaders on the planet. In fact, she even accompanied him to many events as if she really was the first lady and not Melania, which has obviously not been a pleasure for the president's wife. And since we are talking about the actual first lady, the main cause of the bad relationship between her and Ivanka is not the small age difference between them. Here is a reminder that Mrs. Trump is only 50 years old, which is quite well hidden, not to mention that both of them have previously dedicated themselves to modeling, and therefore there might have been some rivalry between them professionally. But speaking of this stranger stepmother-daughter relationship, their constant struggle is for the influence that each of them can have against the president's decisions. Both work in the White House, however the relationship between the women closest to Donald is quite cold and according to the gossipers, they rarely speak, except for when it's necessary. For example, their public appearances and interviews they must give together. And speaking of the interviews, back in 2016, Melania was once asked how she got along with her husband's children, and she replied that she did not look at them as a stepmother at all, as they were all quite grown up. So she looked more like a friend, someone to support them with whatever they needed. And obviously, if we mention Melania, we have to talk about the only son that Donald has with her, Baron William Trump, who was born on March 20th of 2006. I'll spare you having to do some of the math curious and tell you that he is 14 years old. And well, we already know the relationship that the First Lady of the United States has with her husband's children, but what is she like as a mother of her own kid? Well, in spite of all the gossip and conspiracy theories that revolve around the upbringing of the not-so-young Baron, a while ago when he was was only six years old, during an interview for Parenting Magazine, Melania declared that she allowed him to draw on the walls so as to not repress his creativity. It is quite rare for the teen to appear in public next to his parents, and when he does, it honestly seems like he would rather be anywhere but there. It is precisely for that reason that when he does, the press goes crazy and tries to capture America's first son, as many call him for being the first son of the US president to live with his parents in the White House since the time when JFK Jr. lived there with his father. And it is due to Barron's behavior, almost immobile when he appears with his father, that many rumors have arisen that he's autistic. Although, well, most likely it is nothing more than a normal teenager behavior. Or have all the people forgotten what they were like when they were that age and they preferred to, I don't know, be anywhere but with their parents? If you want to know more about what the young teen is like, then be sure to check out this video. And to complete Donald's five aces, we must mention Eric Trump, the young youngest son from his previous marriage. And although he is the youngest of the couple's kids, he's not so young anymore as he was born on January 6th of 1984, and that makes him a 36-year-old man and a father of two of Trump's 10 grandchildren. And as I mentioned earlier, just like his older brother, Eric has taken it upon himself to preserve the family business and follow his father's political life very closely. As normal, successful, and even beautiful as the large Trump family may seem in the first place, there are a lot of rumors and lurid stories about the past of the current White House leader. Some of them were even included in the controversial book, Too Much and Never Enough, How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man by Mary L. Trump. It turns out that in her memoirs, the president's own niece reveals, among many other things, how her grandfather, Fred Trump, father of Donald and the author's own father, Fred Jr., was a man with patriarchal ideology, extremely macho, an enemy of incompetence and lover of psychological, misogyny and even supremacist cruelty. And well, I won't go into too many details, I'll leave that for next time.
So hey Curious, what do you say we make another video in which we tell you each and every one of the secrets of the Trumps revealed in the controversial book? What are your thoughts on the not so known children of the controversial leader and the relationship he has with them? Let me know in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe.